Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. I'm a freelance makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. So today I am very excited to talk to you about my top five cleansers. Now, when I mean cleansers, I mean when you're washing your face in the morning and it's the first step to maybe your double cleanse. So a double cleanse is when you cleanse, which you might do in the morning, and then you cleanse again with another cleanser. But this is to just talk about what I use in the morning when I just wake up or before bed when I want to remove my makeup and I just want to keep my skin looking vibrant and fresh. So let's talk about my top five cleansers. At number five is the Drunk Elephant Slay Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser. Now I started using this when they released it and this is the sort of travel size version. You can get the larger size and I will put down what it's available in the description below. The reason why I love this is the formula, it melts when you put it on your face and for someone like myself who has dry skin or dehydrated skin from time to time, it really, really helps with just making my skin feel like it's getting that sort of moisture still. It's a really lovely texture. It reminds me a little bit of the Yves L'Homme cleanser. Doesn't have that sort of smell that the Yves L'Homme cleanser does, but it has a really lovely sort of texture. I am also a huge fan of the Beauty Pie cleanser as well. So I will put a picture up of the one that I use, as well as the Korean one that I found, which was from Beauty of Jason, which I've had in a previous video that I have absolutely loved. So I will put those up here for you so you can see that. But those are kind of like the cleansers that I really, really love. So that is my number five. So moving on to my number four cleanser. This is the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser for normal to dry skin. Now CeraVe is a brand that you can get in most drugstores. And the reason why I have put this in here is sometimes I can get problematic skin because I can be quite sensitive to certain products. I tend to use CeraVe when my skin is feeling inflamed or when it just needs that little bit of tender love. And so I find that CeraVe is really good for that. When it comes to the texture of CeraVe, it doesn't foam up. It just gives you this really kind of light creamy effect when you put it on and the consistency is really nice. It's not foamy, I don't really like foams, so this is why I really like this. It just feels like it's doing something good for your skin. I would highly recommend this, it's really reasonably priced as well. You can get this in the drugstores, Boots in the UK, in the States, I'm sure you can get this everywhere. It is a really good product and they do a great range and I really enjoy their hydrating cleanser. So I have a backup of this, so I will be starting this one at some point, but this is number four. Now moving into number three. I am a huge, huge fan of this brand and this is Votary. I may have spoken about Votary in previous videos before. Anytime I use their product, I feel like I'm having a spa experience. But what is so wonderful, this is the Super Seed Cleansing Oil. Any of their oils I would put in my top five. The reason is, is that I just find their cleansing oils so lovely on my skin, especially because it needs that hydration and it just seems to give me that. So like a kind of oily consistency, but it's not horrible. Like when you wash it off, it comes off really well with a muslin cloth. You can usually get this, or I think the rose and geranium one with a cloth. I absolutely adore this range. And I will be doing a video at some point on this brand because I do have a couple of other things from Votary that I wanted to show you. I adore this. This would be my number three. Moving on to my second favourite cleanser. This has been an OG of mine for many, many years and it's a brand that I haven't spoken about on my channel and I am dying to speak about them because I have so many things from this brand. I was introduced to this brand when I was studying at the session school and I met the founder of this brand and I will put all the details in the description box of who the founders are. It's Aurelia. And this is the Miracle Cleanser with chamomile, eucalyptus, rosemary and bergamot. I cannot rave about how beautiful this brand is. If you have rosacea, if you have sensitive skin, it is perfect. I do love it because I can use it on my skin anytime my skin feels like it needs 
something. It doesn't necessarily mean that my skin has to be going through something. It just is a sort of really comforting experience. The texture, I'm using this still, is so lovely. If you can see, it's kind of like a creamy texture and it just feels so gorgeous on the skin. I mean, I think I'm going through this way too fast, to be honest, because it's just something I love to use every morning. This is the large size, this is 120 mil, and I think I might apply a little bit too much in the morning, but I just love it so much. So I really, really would recommend this. This is the Aurelia Miracle Cleanser. And so finally, my favorite number one cleanser at the moment, and I haven't put it down, well, I finished it now, <laughs> is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. Can't rave about this enough absolutely love it. The reason why I love this, it says here, for all skin types, rich in amino acids, gently cleanses face and eyes. I've actually finished this one and I'm going to be doing an empties video, but this will go in my empties video. I adore Fresh. I think Fresh is such a great brand when it comes to cleansers or masks. I have bought some masks recently from this brand. Absolutely love it. When you put it on, it's a gel and then it kind of just melts into your skin and then your skin just feels like really clean. I just absolutely adore this and I am such a huge fan. This one is the largest size, it's 150 mil, and look, I finished it. <laughs> Absolutely love it. I'd highly recommend this as well as a cleanser. This is my number one at the moment. I just wanted to give some honorary mentions. I haven't actually opened these yet, but I will be using them soon. I purchased the Rose de May cleansing balm from Shantikai. So I'm gonna let you know whether this is going to enter my top five. I am a huge, huge fan of Shantikai, as you all know. And when they released this, I got very, very excited. And another brand that I absolutely adore is Sicily. And I purchased their triple oil balm makeup remover and cleanser. Again, this has that sort of balmy texture Texture, which I absolutely love and this one is in 125 grams and the Shantakai one is in 75 mil so I cannot wait to test these two out for you and tell you how these are and how they compare to my top five that I mentioned today. Obviously I just wanted to give a caveat that I have dry dehydrated combo. My skin can just, depending on my hormones, can change. Very much it leans towards the combo dry at the moment. And so I'm recommending cleansers that are suitable for my sort of skin. So please bear that in mind when you're purchasing items. Make sure that you are looking for skincare that is appropriate for your skin type. Double check, find out. You can probably go to the counter if you're not 100% sure. They can have a look at your skin. They can ask you where your problem areas are and then help decide what cleanser would be best for you. So I would do that. But for me and for my skin, those are my top five. So I really hope you enjoyed that. I wanna do more of these top fives because I think that a lot of people would really enjoy it. And I really enjoy doing them. So please let me know your thoughts. Please don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section below. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you.